plaintiff, Sonia Kimball, says the defendant is her son, and he was diagnosed with ADHD at a young age. Sonia claims she got the defendant counseling, but as a result of his disorder, he acted out, became destructive, and eventually became an alcoholic. Sonia suing her son for attorney fees. Defendant Derek Kimball and his girlfriend, Siobhan Barnes, say Derek had a rough upbringing, and as a result, he turned to the streets. Derek admits that he's been to jail more than 17 times, but he's now sober and on the right track. Tell me what's going on. Uh, I love my son. It's been a long journey getting here. Derek is 28 years old. He's finally getting his life together. He's um, been doing pretty good. Um, when he was younger, he was diagnosed with ADHD. And coming up, he had a lot of problems a lot of problems with people teasing him and things like that. What age? Um, yeah, five years old, all the way up to 17. Okay, what'd you do about it? I got him a lot of um, counseling, uh, classes, anything that I did could. Did it work? When he was younger, yes. Okay, when, when did he it got stop older, working? Uh, when he got, when he figured out he was grown, he turned 17, mm -hmm. and he figured he was a man. He didn't really need his mom. Okay. So he wasn't really troubled from 5 to 17 because the treatment was working. Well, no, I would go back maybe a few more years. When he was in junior high school, he started. Started living he, a destructive he, life. Yeah. What he did, what he was doing was he, was, he started skipping school. Then he started um, drinking a little bit. Um... He was just... He was still going to counseling? Uh, yes, he was going to counseling then. Mm -hmm. uh, when he turned 17, he, he wound up drinking, uh, got a girl pregnant, made me a grandmother. Did he finish high school? Uh, no, he did not. All right. And what has his life been like um, since 17? He's uh, been destructive. He's an alcoholic. He has been fighting, drinking, going in and out of jails. Um, I'm always getting in late night calls. And I'm always there. Call saying what? Oh, um, mom, he's headed to the hospital. Mom, uh, I just overdrank. They just drained my system. Ma, I don't feel good. Ma, can you come do this? Mom, can you do, come and do that? And I'm always there. Want to give me some background, sir? Yes, sir. How you doing, Your Honor? Good. Um, my mom is good, mom. I love her very dearly. Um, I had a rough time, rough life growing up. My mom was not always there for me. At the time, where was she? Where was she? She was doing her own thing. Like what? Dealing with boyfriends and stuff. And that caused you to do what? To stay far away from her. What do you mean by far away? Like she was never paying attention to us. Like she's like she's supposed to. She, um, she was never home. She was working constantly. You say us. You had other yes, um, siblings. My, yes, sir. I got okay. my mom got five kids. Okay, did they have the same problems as you? No, sir. So they were all right? Yes, sir. She was far away from them, too? No, sir. It was only you? Yes, sir. Why do you think she neglected you? Because I feel like I needed more of her help, more time with her, and she wasn't providing me that time that I wanted. Okay. And when you were in school, were you getting in trouble? Yes, sir. And do you think that was because she neglected you? A little bit. So did she uh, uh, make sure you get counseling? Yes, sir. Did the counseling work? Yes, sir. <laughs> she got your counseling and the counseling worked. Somehow that was neglect. <laughs> oh, please don't come across pitiful. Please come across like the man that you probably portray yourself as when you're out in the street. Because he don't tell your street boys that, do you? No, sir. Yeah, they'll punk you out. <laughs> Why you come and bring that to me? I want you to be a man. Be strong. Man up. You been in jail how many times? Uh, a lot. Like how many? Can you guess? Maybe if you don't don't sound like you More know, just 17. guess. Seventeen times? Yes, sir. All right, now that's from being with your friends. Yes, sir. Plaintiff Sonia Kimball is suing her son, who admits that he's a recovering alcoholic and has been to jail more than seventeen times. Now let's go over it again. How many problems have you had in your life, particularly since seventeen? A few. Describe some of them. Um, hanging around the wrong crowd. Um, basically, out on the streets, kicking with my friends, things like that. You been in jail how many times? Uh, a lot. 
Like how many? Can you guess? Maybe um, if you don't don't try to get no, just 17. guess. Seventeen times. Yes, sir. All right, and that's from being with your friends. Yes, sir. All right, and never dawned on you to get another <laughs> crew of friends. <laughs> Thank you. Are you an alcoholic or a dope fiend of any kind? No, alcoholic. You are an alcoholic. Yes, sir. All right, have you tried to get any treatment for that? Yes, sir, I have. She's shaking her head. Oh, no, he, he's a recovering alcoholic. He's been clean for a year. Okay. Is that your first time? Yes, sir. All right. After how many years of alcoholism? Since I was 14, all the way to 18. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From age 14 to 18, you, what happened? Maybe I'm missing something. Um, I was basically standing in the streets drinking, hanging with the wrong crowd. Okay, and what happened at 18? You stopped? Um, yes, I was trying to get clean, um, going to hospitals, things like that. Try For to get rehab? To get, yes, sir. Excuse me, Your Honor. Yeah, huh? No, that is not right. No. <laughs> Hold I'm, on. Let me, not... I, let me use a little common sense. Let me make him, uh, yes, give me some Honor. common sense answers. Uh, so, when you went to the hospital to get clean, what did they do? They, um, locked me down, gave me medicine. Um, Why'd they have to lock you down if you went there to get clean? That's the process. No, it's not. No, that's not. That's not the process. When you go there saying, I need to get cleaned up, will you please help me get treatment and place me somewhere? They don't grab you and say, oh, lock him down, <laughs> put the straight jacket on him. Let's move on, sir. You must think you're talking to one of them lames. Are you hanging out with lames in the street, <laughs> sir? Because you talk like you are. You talk like you hang around with a bunch of lame dope fiends that don't do anything but get drunk all day and blame their problems on somebody else. No, huh? sir, no. no okay, sir. I hope not, man. I hope you're the only one in the crew that acts like that. <laughs> oh. How does he owe you for attorney fees, ma'am? On July two th uh, 2013, 4th of July, he called me, Mama, 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 I need your help. I need an attorney. And I said, Did well, he say it like that? Yeah. Did mama, he really say, Mama, Mama? He said, Mama. Like a little kid. He said, Mama. I, he said, Mama. Not like a grown man, like said, a little mama, kid, Mama, need... Mama. He said it twice. Yeah, he said it more than twice. He, he said, said mama, like, mama, 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 I need your mama. help. I need an attorney. Mama, please help me. Please help me. And I was like, Well, what happened? And he told me he got a felony. Yeah, you talk when you. He's, he got a felony. I'm Mama. Oh, I was just really need him to tell me this. Cause I'm Mama. I don't know any street guys that do that. And unless they lame. I don't pre-dip. Sir, is that how you did mm -hmm. it? No, sir. Okay. What do you say? Mama, bring me some money down here so I can get out. <laughs> well, by the way, Mama, you don't have to come get me. I'll do my bit. Ain't no problem. I got myself in this. I'm gonna get myself out. You don't have to do anything. Don't sacrifice $4,000 for me. I've been getting in trouble all my life. Don't worry about it, Mama. That's how I used to tell my mother. I used to man up. Mama, don't come down here. She said, don't worry, I ain't. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, ma'am. So I had a pending case, and um, I talked to my attorney. Um, I signed some papers stating that I would take over You had over a pending the... case suing someone? Uh, I had a pending fire case. To get some money from? Yes. All right. And that was the same attorney that was handling that. I talked to them. They said, yes, they would take Derek's um, case as long as I signed a pro like a promissory mm -hmm. note. And um, the, they said if it stayed in um, the smaller courts, it would be $750. They said if it had to go to felony court, it would be thousands. Right. The preliminary I, exam, 750 to see if it's going to be dismissed. And if not, you got to go through a full trial. Okay, well, it got bonded level. over mm -hmm, right. to that's that's the called. felony court. He mm -hmm. wound up with a, a, a felony, a felonious assault. Who you assault, or were you just drunk and swinging at somebody? <laughs> Who you, what was that about? Um, I was at a friend's house, and uh, one of the friends that was there was disrespecting me. Um, what did he do to disrespect you? Because I, I, obviously you felt you deserved a lot of respect. But Fourth what of July, I was coming into the house, and he figured I was knocking on the door real loud and obnoxious, and I wasn't. And once he let me in... You weren't drunk? Oh, no. yes. Yes, he was. Plaintiff Sonia Kimball is suing her son, who admits that he's a recovering alcoholic and has been to jail more than 17 times. All right, so um, he agreed to pay to your fees, obviously. Yes, he, he did. And he has it? 
Uh, no, he hasn't. He made uh, a $40 payment, and that's all he's made. They sent him to rehab. He did very good in there. When he mm -hmm. got out, he was out for maybe uh, two weeks, and then he lapsed. Went hanging up with the wrong crowd, got drunk again, went in, they blew him, arrested him. They made him do the rest of his time. Ever since then, he has had no more numbers. He's, he's, he's doing good. But he you has not taken care money. of this bill. Sir, let me hear from you on her money. Um, I agreed to pay $750. Um, I told her when my check come through, I can pay a little by a little. And I didn't realize that the bill was going to be so high by the time I got out. She never let me know that the bill was this high or it was going up in the process of me doing my time and getting out. Okay. After being arrested 17 times, you don't know how much it costs to handle a case. I was getting a diet. I didn't realize it was going to cost more than that. You were getting what? A diet. I was getting... Indicted. Going to the, right. Yes. This is your first time being charged? Yes. As a felon, yes. The other 17 times were what? Was misdemeanors. Street guys kill me coming in here talking tough and living off your mother, living off your girlfriend. I done been in the street. I know what it is to be tough, and it ain't none of that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, because you didn't know how much the attorney was going to charge, you don't think you should pay. That's your defense? Yes, sir. That is no defense. I'm not wasting any more time with you, young man. Yeah, I, yes, I have I have the settlement statements of how they broke it down. I and also he have the he, he still has a pending three thousand something. He still owes the attorney. This is what they could get. He agrees he owes you. His only defense is he didn't agree to pay this amount when he told you to go and get a lawyer for him because he used to mama bailing him out and taking care of him. No baby this man. He out I'm the not... street doing all this. I... So treat him like the street guys tell him. Say, be tough. Man up! Yes, sir. Judge him for the plaintiff. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, he's gonna always be my son. He's my baby child, one of five. So he our mama's gonna always be there, but he needs like the judge said, man up. Pay your own bills. I know I owe her. I know I did some wrong out of my life, but I'm still getting my life together. I'm still gonna be her baby boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.